Hi guys, today we are done of the tape drive from the Craftacula Sony camera. So, as you can see, uh, here it is, the remains of it at least. I will not take everything apart, but show some of the parts. First, the way it loads the tape. There is a uh, hand uh, uh, manual uh, loading uh, wheel. Here you can uh, move with a screwdriver. So it will not go further than this in this direction. You can see we are missing uh, a piece here, a tape a pickup piece. But in the other way, in fact, it looks like we really have a big issue with this. Uh, uh, tape guide here, which is completely loose, not spring loaded or anything. And in fact, if you do not lift it manually, it will prevent sometimes, not here, only enough. Yes, here it prevents the uh, loading action to do uh, go to the end. So there is really an issue with this part. Other issue is this. Uh, Flat flex I did uh, damage when taking apart the camera. Going to the rotary contacts for the drum. You can see uh, the nice PCB with uh, clip on bounds. So what to undo first? So looks like we have more or less uh, a modular construction of this thing. Oh, here is the other side. The um, Two PCBs. I guess I can start with removing this metal plate because it is completely in the way. Very nice little screws on this thing with uh, built in washers. Very well here. So you can see very nice belt. Not a rubber piece of crap, but really a good belt at least. And here we have this PCB assembly, which, uh, in fact, I think I must first undo the drum assembly completely. We have, it looks like we have two big screws, well, bigger than the others, and yes, it is moving. So if I pull on it, it is a really nice design, look at this. It just disconnects from the uh, PCB at the bottom and you have a wall drum assembly you can replace easily with a built-in uh, motor. So really a nice thing. I will keep this as a display item, obviously. So now I can see some of the gears seems to be in uh, brass or copper, something like this. And here we have uh, ball bearings to uh, for the tape uh, loading uh, drawer. In fact, it was rolling over these ball bearings, so it is really really nice. And of course, you can see the base plate is made of die cast. So next uh, part I can undo. It looks like. Uh, there is this assembly with uh, arrays and uh, either audio or tracking head. So I may be able to undo it. It will also unmate from the bottom uh, PCB, I guess. Uh, there is one more screw here, obviously. And uh, yes, it just disconnect like so. You have a roller uh, type uh, guide here, probably the erasing head, tracking maybe, some calls on this little uh, PCB. So a nice little assembly. So, what uh, else uh, now I can undo this uh, PCB at the bottom? There will not be much to see, but. Oh, there is a broken piece from somewhere, it looks like. Ah, oh, no, it is not broken. It's just 
when random lose this um, and it will not want to come off not sure why maybe I need to undo this PCB but if it does not want to cooperate I will not over you with this there we are there is one add to remove screw of course as always so here it is just uh, some IC CXA8004 and here the loading uh, mechanism you can see this uh, must be probably a PCB for uh, optimal technical feedback here since we have some shiny uh, patterns of our piece so there must be a feedback of the uh, loading uh, mechanism position probably with an optical sensor Yes, not one, but four optical sensors. And when it is loading, this uh, part turns and uh, makes or breaks uh, light beams. So this we, is the uh, capstan motor and the loading, the drive loading motor. Let me do some focus. So, what do we have? I see. Uh, two big screws it's not easy to figure out what to remove I just want to access to this part here which seems to be the audio head this time we have one screw one over here and one back Here. So in this kind of mechanism, you can get really a lot of small uh, ball bearings, small um, lock nuts, and uh, really nice stuff. Brass parts also, like this. Yes, this must be audio. Read here. And here you can see the wall loading mechanism made of brass. I guess I can undo it. First, I have to undo the loading motor. The last part I will remove with you is the uh, capstan. After this, I will stop at this point because it may become annoying. In fact, uh, taking apart a small tail rest like this is very tedious. Yes, loading motor here. Not sure what this is. Maybe some. Uh, magnetic pickup of uh, some uh, feedback and now there is this nice assembly you can undo seems we have a copper piece here with a set of brass gears inside very tight nice screw again yes quite uh, Nice, but sadly the, sad, the last gear uh, is plastic. And yes, it is copper. Interesting. So there is this wall messed up mechanism here. I don't know if it is missing a part or something like this. Quite weird. One of the bearings here, I will show you how they are made. Very nice, in fact. You pull this thing, and you have a small bearing in a support piece. So, this will be worth saving. And here, you have a very annoying uh, Allen screws that were uh, keeping the drive in place in the camera. So, 
Okay, there is a one uh, assembly here for the loading mechanism. I guess I can do it. It is just a matter of removing screws, so I may be able to do it. Uh, but figuring out which screws can be quite tricky. This uh, one goes in the bottom part. Next, this one. A lot of screws on the bench already. This one here. And uh, it is still not coming off. Mm. Looks like I want to undo this. So, there's this one. And there is uh, not sure one of the screws in here. Take the one at the bottom. Yes. So it is coming off a little bit at a time. I guess this is the last screw. And uh, yes, here we are. Let's get rid of this annoying thing. So, and here is the wall uh, loading mechanism, very complicated by the way you can see. This is an insanely delicate part, the other side did break. And uh, still this uh, weird device, I do not uh, understand. Ok, so last thing, the capstan motor. What do we have in here? We have this, but it is just a cover plate for something. We have two screws. Usually they are secured with three screws all around the capstan, but here you have only two screws. And it is a flat coil motor as always. Just like you may find in a diskette drive or something like this, floppy disk drive, something like this. Here are the remains. There are still a lot of parts to undo on this thing. Screws to, uh, to save. Small uh, bearings, of course. And it will be all for this thing. So when you have this kind of washers here, they are safe looking uh, washers in plastic, in fat, usually you can just undo them with a cutter like so but by doing so you will probably damage them and when you are repairing a device and you have no spare you really do not want to either damage or lose them and this is a very bad roller by the way very, very sad one. Okay, so here is the end. This is the end of this thing. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.